This is a sponsored video because we've got to save up money for our studio. And today's sponsor, welcome back Skillshare. Skillshare is an incredible online learning community with a wide breadth of classes like photography, cooking, graphic design, how to make music, all sorts of things where you can explore a new creative endeavor. Or, hey, maybe you want to give having an art career a try. I don't know, could be fun. You may have noticed by the title of this video that it's about art studies, but if you're looking for a more relaxed dive into art for the day, try out the class Start Drawing, three fun freeing exercises to spark your creativity by Carly Kuhn. In this class, they'll guide you through three of their favorite line drawing exercises to help you let go of your perfectionism and enjoy the process of making art. I really like their philosophy on what can be art and what it is to be an artist. Bonus that Carly's just really charming. The first 1,000 people to use my link in the description below will get a one month free trial of Skillshare to explore your creativity today. And with that, on with the video. Howdy hey, I'm Ray. I have been super into art studies lately. I'd say currently most of the stuff I draw in my free time is a study of some sort. I try to make sure I use studies to warm up before I draw anything. If I have the urge to draw but no idea what to draw, I do a study. My art style has changed a ton lately. That's super obvious to anyone familiar with my channel. I love the direction I'm going in. I have all my studies to thank for that. I'm learning so much. I love doing studies. So today I thought I'd bring you guys with me as I did just that. Let you all see how I personally like to go about doing my studies. Maybe it would be helpful to some of you. I don't know. This is mostly just me talking about the study method that works best for me so that I'm able to retain what I learned and apply it to my own art and grow and improve and all that. I was one of many artists who walked away from seeing Across the Spider-Verse with the thought, God, I need to be a better artist. And when I started drawing, initially I had set out to do some Spider-Verse fan art. I was hoping to warm up with some figure studies and Spider-Man adjacent poses. I feel like there's gotta be photo reference packs out there themed around Spider-Man, but I couldn't find anything. So I figured the next best thing would be to do some studies from the actual concept art of the movie. The first one at least, the art book for the second movie wasn't out yet. I used this website and all of the art I was studying from was by Shi Yoon Kim. You can see in the footage I started out by replicating a bunch of full body poses. I was kind of using this website and just copying things in order, but then I got to the expressions. Every character's got a differently shaped head from the others. I thought there was a lot to learn from here, so I shifted gears and decided to dedicate some time doing portrait studies instead. I've got a particular method with how I like to do my studies. It works for me with almost every kind of study and it's basically composed of three steps. One, replication. Two, expansion. Three, application. For step one, it's as simple as me taking a bunch of portraits from the concept art and recreating it as exactly as possible. So I can start to try and understand the process of how to draw like this. While trying to replicate an art style, the two biggest things I look out for to help me along are proportions and patterns. It's very easy to lose focus and start to slip into the way you personally draw or even just to make mistakes while you're recreating art. Maybe you draw much eyes larger and lower on the face than the artist you're attempting to copy. Or maybe they draw arms longer than you do. So like it would be really easy to accidentally draw the eyes too low on the head or to make the arms too short. The way you can attempt to self-correct this is trying to keep track of where the body parts are in relation to the others in the piece that you're recreating. I try to use three reference points at a time. For example, this drawing of Gwen. This was my first attempt at recreating it and I knew it was off because her right leg was way too high up. So I compared points of proportion. The distance between her arm and leg, the distance between her chin and butt, and the distance between her waist and her cheek. Using these three points of reference, I was able to redraw her a little more accurate, and I was able to be mindful as I continued to draw to be aware of her torso length. I mean, not that that helped me very much in the end since I ended up doing portrait studies, but I, I mean, anyway, it's a good habit to have. And you can do this multiple times with multiple points of proportion. Technically, you only really need two points of comparison at a time, but for me, picking three helps me to keep the entire piece in roughly the right proportions rather than just individual appendages. And three isn't too many points to be overwhelming to keep track of. Three's a good number. I like three. Then for patterns, you're looking for things the art style does frequently and trying to remain mindful of them while you draw. Some of the patterns I noticed in this style of the portraits were how often they utilized expression lines around the mouth, and that those lines didn't quite connect with the nose. In fact, they go just over the nostrils, really showing how the character's cheeks are moving. I noticed that some characters had straight, simple teeth, and how some had more uneven teeth to add interest and visual flavor. I noticed that they were sparing about adding wrinkles in between the eyebrows to show expression, 
but they were generally more liberal with added wrinkles above the eyes, to the same effect. When you know to look out for these things, it's easier to replicate the art properly and a little more intuitively. When I finished enough portraits to be satisfied, I took a quick break to do 30 minute gesture drawing session of some portraits on the website Line of Action. This isn't necessarily part of my study system, it's just something I thought would help in the moment. The art style I'm replicating is much more realistic than mine, so taking a break to study a little realism seemed sound. Sounded sound. Get off the stage! Then I go back to my references and I do the step I call expansion, where I still do my best to make sure my drawings are on model, but I try to draw the characters in new poses, or in this case, new expressions. So long as you aren't just straight up recreating your references anymore on this step. Some expressions I try to draw completely original using the knowledge I got from all the replicas I just made. Some expressions are more like a continued action of one of my references. Like if I was going to use this reference image and animate this character, what would the next keyframe be? How might they move next? This allows me to still put in the work to really think about and process and figure out how to draw this character correctly on my own, but I still have a really good, strong reference to help me along. Like these two. If I took this one and I continued his action, maybe he's talking. He turns his head a little like he's shaking it. His lips pucker up. The expression of his eyes changes. But it's still the same shot. It's still close enough to the reference image that I could use it as a really strong cross-reference for help. I picked up on this study technique on accident. It was while I was literally trying to make a fanime of a webcomic page and I only had the page panels as reference. Every time I drew a new pose, I was exploring new territory. I never ended up finishing that video, but I keyframed the whole thing. That bitch was like 10 minutes long. That was super, that was a lot of work. The comic artist was a much better artist than me, so not only did I have to figure out how to replicate an art style correctly, but I had to figure out how to try and consistently draw something that was better than I knew how to draw. I got a lot of practice in this artist style by doing that shit. And after I inevitably gave up on the project was one of the first times I had noticed a really substantial improvement in my personal art. A lot of the things that I had learned to draw while doing all these on-model keyframes had been committed to my memory because I had done so many of them and I was able to apply what I had learned to my personal style. It worked so fucking good for me that one time. I live by this now. This is the way. It's just about finding the time to actually sit down and do it. The amount of time this takes actually presents a pretty big issue because I can't just personally keyframe 10 minute long anime episodes every time I see an art style that I want to truly learn from. So I need a faster way to start committing things I've learned to memory. That's where my third step comes in. But first I did another half hour portrait drawing session. Good to stay limbered up, I don't know. I should also comment for anyone who might be trying to follow along on this method or is just thinking about trying it. Everything I'm doing here was spread out over multiple days. I did not do this in one sitting. Don't stress if studying takes longer than one sitting, that's just part of the process. As long as too much time doesn't go by between when you start and finish a study, you should be fine. At least if your brain works like mine. Step three. Application. This can be done in a few different ways. I did it differently this time than I normally would. The point of application is to take everything you learn from your studies while it's fresh in your mind and to go draw other things while applying those things that you learned. Typically for me, this means drawing in my own art style, just experimenting with adding details I liked from my studies to my personal style. I find this step of translation really helps it stick and become a habit. This time though, I decided to spend my application time by picking out some reference photos of actors and drawing them as caricatures in Shi Yun Kim's style, or as close as I could manage. I used this as an excuse to draw some Walking Dead characters because I have rot in my brain. I tried to pick characters that already had some stronger, more distinct features or face shapes to help me process the shapes better, so I picked Michonne, Abraham, and Glenn. It took a lot of trial and error. You can see especially in the time lapse of Michonne that I had to go back and redo a lot. Something about having a reference of the characters' faces and also style references of Shiyun Kim's portraits really tripped me up. What I ended up having to do was making my initial light blue sketch while looking at the photo reference and then zooming in on my canvas and not looking at that photo anymore while I refined the sketch. So instead of having them on the screen at all times, I could only glance back at my references when I needed a refresher, largely relying on my memory to apply what I learned. Michonne took a few attempts to get her to a place I was really happy with. Abraham, I felt, went over really well. I really like how these look. Glenn, however, Glenn is why you want to do your studies in a timely manner and why it's good to revisit your studies and refresh your memory if you have the time. 
Doing a particular study again can be super helpful if you have the time. After I had finished Abraham, we had a different deadline we needed to finish, so like a week went by before I could come back to this. So while drawing Glenn, I felt like I had forgotten too much about what I'd studied. Not everything, but enough. I do plan on doing this set of studies again, probably skipping the first step this time and just jumping to redoing expansion and application. I really wanted to take these studies a little further. Typically, I really like including my step of using application with my own art style, but I spent so long on these, it was really just time to move on. I still need something to draw for the Patreon speed paint, though, so here's me doing some different Walking Dead portrait studies. These ones were more focused on studying color and form. I think they turned out fun. So thank you so much for watching this video, and thank you so much to my patrons! $2 a month gets you access to everything I post, like works in progress and early reveals of video artwork, $5 a month gets you access to patron-exclusive live streams I do every month, and $10 a month gets your name in the credits of my videos just like this. Thank you so much to... Atlas De La Rosa, Idiot Rabbit, Graymon, Luis Vieira, Cata Camarina, Mike Rook, Cody Colson, Eliorio, Lynette, Sad Raven, Inkster Link, Lila Lu, Hua Hua Panko, KX Raichi, Rainworld, Pastel J, MC Skittles, Aubrey, Fish Hearts, Emil, Diango, Merlin Overloaded, Doopsy, Addy Batty, Zoner King 34, Angelic Pudding, Raz Candy Puppy, Angel Aphrodite, Morgami, Leah Michelle, Aquarius Sketches 13, Dreamy Elfie, Zero Peachy Star Zero, Goblin Dog Comics, Star Soul Studios, Morgan Shadow Squatter, Snapdragon Fern, Moth Knock Your Socks Off, Wishy Moose, Wing Wing, Wing, Mogumi, Aki, Komodori, number one Morag Lady Airsim, Alpha Origae, Alpha AC Roberts, Luxturium, Dark Heart, Blue, Jade Warlock, Beetle Sticks, Pebble ET, Ursula 707, Data Fox, Jaxelberry, Sprite Bulb Conception, River Pancakes, Ash is Too Common, Via V, Velvy B, Natalia the Written 73, The Loud Artist, Just a Sketchy Nerd, The Name's Raymond, Mtre, Help Up, Scissor Reaper, Tabby Laffy Annie, Midge Mayhem, Isami Mari, Honey and Hoshiko, Oculus Portfolio, Marplees, Sushi McNushi, Isaga Inkblood, Jasper Barrel Alabaster, Solix, Sailor Star Bones, Arya Days, Charlie the Kitten, Ambit Bunny, Twisted Mind, Ace, Lopnya, Schmo, Shrimpy Boy, Bo Cinnabarol, Claire AD, King Jester, Moon Pie Dumplings, Jamie Cloud, Larice, Dahlia Dreamcraft, Vessa Sile, Rainy's Corner, Nerd King 14, Blazing Locusts, Sparky Knight, Snail, Connor Robinson, Honey Beast, Fawn Envy, Martin Anderson, Jay Rybloom, Buttercat Row, Eddie Star, Gojay's Dragon, Vendetta, Chaosu, Elizabeth Ishii, Popsicle Personify, Starling Studio, Leon Dexter, Rudio, your resident Disney princess, PTR Draws, Fool on Cool, The Crystal Paladin, Damn Creativity, SL Emmy, Mim Silver Note, Steph Guz Doodles, CJ Duffy, Sable Skies, Sweetly Sinstra, Strawberry Kitty, The Sleepy Detective, Bun Bun Boy, Luby Z, Exorcist Lilum, Gravity Drop, Miss Contrary, Glasses Protag, Mist, Queen Sunoko, Night King, Sunset Lemonade, Lucas Might Be Mothman, Kamiki Miata, Red V, Natlock, Shards of Shattered Space, Cassie Wrights, Blue, Mario Medina, Zephyr Christos, Bitey Jr., Jolia, Ghostly Goat, Karina Floraline, Ali Mocha, Kitty Freak, Phantom Bagel, Zachary Borgs, Jake Van True, Madison, Dragon Draws, Stemphalian, Tiger, Capri Crocker, Basically BB, Monster Freak, The Legend of Alice, Danny Glitter, Johnny Ariano, Rain Jake, Luna Lou the Mew, Boring Studios, Daphne Jolly, Neon Pasu, Ego, Gallivanting Galliforms, Inger Lease, Jordan Ripley, Desk, Drabar, Bowie Knife, Apple Fox, Thunder Evermore, Orion of the Stars, D. Henry, Mama Peaches, Fire Newt 451, Madu, Michael, Emeraki, Yakumo Soul Queen, Cat Dagger 2, Lazy Roller, Dracos, Fluffy Shadow 2468, Schooly Sweet, ah! Jacob Goodwin, DJ Cat, Meow, Embla, Scriblet, Codal Cuddles, Lumelstorf Art, Lauren, Dylan MX, Mallow Chew, Alien Drag Queen, Shortcake Snake, Andre, Dojo Kid, Yukichigo, Mikozawa, Zelfus, He the Queen, Boise, Makaru, Dust Lotus, Russell the Jimmies, Nico Starcy, Andrew Robinson, Chris Daru, Kurt Kuhlman, Cody Richard, Hikari Yu, Johnny Stars, Kara Stark Strange, Peachy Mint, Ashfear, Aswix, and the Orc Cafe. Thank you all so much, and I'll see you next time. Bye!